there are there are some differences. It's not uh, necessarily significant. Um, I would say the G loading profile that we see is different for each one. Uh, neither one's better or worse, but uh, they're just different. And then coming home, it's the same thing. The G profile is different. Um, when the parachutes come out, is a bit different, and so you spend less time under a parachute on the Dragon than you do under the Soyuz. Uh, landing in the water was interesting because none of us really knew what to expect, but I would say from my standpoint, it felt a little bit softer than landing on land. Um, and then having the rocking motion after you land in the water, I think we got very lucky with sea states. It could have been a lot uh, more dramatic than it was. So uh, some subtle differences, but uh, a lot of similarities as well. <laughs> well, uh, this is much more dynamic uh, and much uh, greater duration than you, you, anything that you would get in a, in a fighter type aircraft. And so I think you know, having that experience and, and, and being under G and in a dynamic um, uh, environment can, can get you some context, but launch and, and, and entry are such unique experiences. And then to couple that with living in microgravity and, and experiencing weightlessness for 167 days and then being subject to, you know, four and a half Gs for over a minute, I mean, that is just a, it's a, it's, it's dynamic. It will definitely get your attention. There was a point where I was just saying to myself, breathe, breathe. <laughs> inhale, you know, because I felt really heavy. I felt like those cartoons when they yeah. experience G and your face is just sagging down. Um, but it was, it was very dynamic, but at the same time, we had things to do. We were monitoring altitudes and speeds and G loading and, uh, you know, so that we could stay on schedule, knowing when the seats were going to rotate, when the chutes would come out. And I think we were able to do all of those things successfully. We yeah. stayed ahead of the spacecraft. Yeah. Uh, going yeah. way back to DM2, Bob and Doug gave us a lot of uh, gouge about what that, uh, uh, event was going to be like and that it would come very quickly and I think we expected it to come fast and so we were ready and and that's what I would say about the whole thing was I, I expected it to be so dynamic and so challenging that the actual event I think was a little less than what I was expecting and so uh, it, it was enjoyable all around but um, yeah the high G loads uh, it's a good thing the G is going sort of into your chest it, almost directly into your chest as opposed to head to toe which is what you would experience in a fighter aircraft and that makes it hard to stay conscious so going into your chest makes it a little easier to you know keep situational awareness but um, it makes it hard to breathe so <laughs> focus on on your breath <laughs> well shuttle Soyuz dragon it's a good question it's hard to compare of course for the impact wise uh, the shuttle is hard to beat uh, my case is uh, Colonel Irene Collins kiss landing and it's very soft but the people tend to forget that after the main wheel touchdown we have a pretty slamming motion of the nose wheel touchdown so uh, that's actually uh, not trivial. Uh, Soyuz of course it's uh, like a crash into the ground for this one I would say it's uh, very uh, benign and uh, almost a touchdown so uh, I really like it and uh, impact was very very minimal and uh, right after uh, splashdown, we feel the wave motion. That is, yeah, we are come back to Earth, yeah, the water <laughs> planet. And it's uh, exactly as uh, forecast is like a five second period, mm -hmm. and I feel it. So that's a great yeah. feeling, yeah. which we don't have for the 167 days. Yeah. Who's ready to go again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy Earth, you know. There was a, there's a letter up there on, on, the, on the hatch to the airlock. Uh, written by one of our colleagues that that uh, passed away uh, in the Columbia accident, unfortunately. But one of the last sentences, he says, "If I had been born in in space, I would long to go to Earth much more than I long to go to space." And I, that I I thought about that every day, and I'm very happy to be here on Terra Firma, and I'm going to enjoy this for a while.